Hello everybody, welcome to Jet TV. I'm JLab and this is Football Match 2016 and my other videos I've been doing the unemployment challenge. This video is a Sir Alex Ferguson challenge and what that is, is pretty much emulating Sir Alex Ferguson which was made in 2013. Uh, you holiday through, the challenge will comments of this, you holiday through until November the 6th which is when this video will be uploaded. You take over the team at second bottom in the Premier League. So this could be random, randomised feature, it could be any team possible. You stay at this one club the entire career. So if you get sacked by the team, you don't, you don't continue the challenge, you just have to give up. It's pretty much over for you then. You aim to bring youth players through the team that you're with. And you try to persuade long-term players to become part of your backroom staff and or managers. But there's some goals. you got to win a domestic cup within four years. Ferguson won his first cup in 19, in 1990. You win the title within seven years, self Blanchery. You win the league and cup double within eight years. And then you win the league, cup and Champions League treble within 13 years. 1999 springs to mind. And these are all the challenges and goals you have for yourself. And I'm going to holiday through. Uh, you're going to go holiday on a date. Choose a date. November the 6th, it's a Friday, so it's literally before a game, potentially. And we'll see what we who we get. So we are at the 6th of November, and I have got to take over Aston Villa. Now this should be an interesting draw, but I wonder if I can actually keep them up. I'm not even sure myself. Okay, so I'm looking at this team with Port now, and I think that there is some improvements to be made. Just looking at the um, Aston Villa team. The goalkeeper Brad Guzan, I think I can improve in that area. He's only a good championship player, apparently, called the, the report. Uh, I haven't got much money to really spend. Mika Richards is currently injured. He's out for five to eight days. I'm going to go back to the message and see who is injured. Yeah, so Westwood is out for a day. Giles is out for two to four days. Mick Richards is out to five to eight days while well, Bungle Hall is out to three to four months. I've been recommended by my backroom staff to buy Lucas Fabialski and to buy one blast so that'd be an interesting situation for me to find myself in. I haven't really got that much money I think. No, no not a single bit of money to really use so I've got a zero um, transfer budget. Who have we sold? No one. Absolutely no one. Send us it out on loan. And I'm not sure if I really could have used him. Hutton's out on loan. He could have been useful. Webb has, is already on his second club. But I wouldn't use him anyway. So if anything, I'm beginning to clean slate. Just the fact that we are in 19th place. Got to figure out how to get the best out of the team. I'll go to the squad. Best number sign 11. And I think... To be honest with you, I think I might have a decent side here with this formation. I say I think, I could be wrong. I'm going to meet the staff now. I haven't really met them yet. Best formation, 4 2 4. Defensive midfield wide. Okay. Got to check the squad now. That's it looks decent. Narrow. That's the. N Is that what I was meant to do? Yeah, apparently it was. Um. Four two three narrow. So 4-2-3 narrow, that's apparently one of the best formations, I'm not so sure about that. Assistant, and that's another one, I'm not so certain about that. I would never play three strikers at up top, ever. And the 4-2-4, defensive midfielder formation, and again, 
I'm not so sure that's the best formation possible. Huh. I wonder. I think this is a look nicer looking formation, but that's just my opinion. I'm going to look at this properly. I mean, Westwood's definitely the best midfielder we have. A Bonghor and Rudy Gostead are the best strikers. Galish is one for the future, there's no doubt about it. And Gil can also play out wide, he's up inside forward at best. Um, hmm. Gaia is a defensive midfielder, but also a midfielder. He's actually a defensive midfielder first and foremost, so Gashi Westwood would be a central midfielder. My main one, anyway. And yeah, it's interesting to see what the situations I can bring up here. You would be my second one. Huh. It's just interesting. It's a bit difficult to really sort out. But that's also a potential formation for me. But I'm not so sure. I'll have to think about this. But anyway, let me know your opinion of the matter. And let me know who you think I should buy for the club. When I mean, we've got a decent team. Just probably not the best that we could potentially have. And we need to really start thinking about how we can get better players in with no money. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Hope you have enjoyed, uh, that you like and favour this this video. And that you will subscribe to my channel. Really helping me a lot. Interesting challenge for me ahead. I wonder how I'll do. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.